Good afternoon. In this video, I want to deal again with the uh, the lies of uh, Jack Smack 77. And he has a video up praising Louis Spurry Schaefer. And then he comes out and says, anybody who believes that uh, the gospel uh, alone can save anybody, not just a promise, is a Gnostic, is a lost. Well, that's what Schaefer preached, people. So he's got a not he's got he's got a, a video praising Schaefer, and then he comes back and says anybody who doesn't believe that you can just claim the promise of John three sixteen, and never know who Jesus Christ is, what he did for you, that's all that's all, that's Gnosticism, that's a work. Well, let's read here from uh, Schaefer's book on salvation. Preaching the gospel is telling men something about Christ and his finished work for them that they that which they are to believe. Say it again. Preaching the gospel is telling men something about Christ and his finished work for them, which they ought to believe. This is the simplest test to be applied to all soul saving appeals. The simple test to apply to all soul saving appeals is to tell, tell people about Christ and his finished work for them, which they ought to believe. And you people who gave 47 thumbs up to that piece of trash video where he called preaching the gospel Gnosticism and unnecessary and a work and said anybody who says a single verse can't save you is a Gnostic and an unbeliever and lost and really spells Chafer and he has another video of commending Chafer. The man is a lunatic. He doesn't know what the heck he is talking about. Chafer said it right here. That is the simplest test to be applied to all saving appeals. You have to tell something about Christ and his finished work for them, on which they to believe. John 3.16 does not tell you anything about Christ. It tells you about the Father. It doesn't tell you about Christ. And it doesn't tell you about the saving work the finished work for them which they believe. It does not tell you the finished work upon which they believe. And yet that maniac that you are thumbing up, who in one video will, will try to claim Chafer as one of his own, and then the next video will come back and tell you that anyone doesn't believe the lie that a single verse can save you, is a lost and a Gnostic is teaching Gnosticism. When are you people going to wake up to this? When, how many how many morons are without discernment? His his intellect his his theological heritage, J, uh, uh, Jack Smack seventy seven isn't Schaefer, isn't Schofield, isn't anybody from the, the line of Dallas Theological Seminary before it went fouled up in the corruption of. Uh, uh, liberalism. Chaper would have rejected outright the crossless gospel because he said the saving content, how you have to believe about Christ, that's something about Christ and his finished work for them that they believe. This is the simplest test to be applied to all saving appeals. Acts 16.31 doesn't tell you about what Christ did for, you, uh, did for my cross. Not one word is mentioned about his finished work for them, which they believe. That is the test of all save, saving appeals. Not John 3.16. Not Acts 16.31. The gospel has not been preached until a personal message concerning a crucified and living Savior has been presented. You get that, people? A saving message... The gospel has not been preached until a personal message concerning the, a, a crucified and saved, a living Savior has been pre presented in a form of course for response to personal faith. John 3.16 is not the gospel. And he tries to make a little more miniature form of gospel. It's a miniature form of gospel. It doesn't tell you anything about Christ if you want a cross. It doesn't say one word about the cross. John 3, 16 is, a, is the motivation of the Father and a promise by the Father that whoever gets saved 
will have everlasting life. But to get saved, you got to believe in Jesus Christ and what he did for you on the cross. He did something for you on the cross. That maniac and all who follow him want to remove that and then claim Chafer as one of his theological uh, 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 mentors, teachers. This is the simplest test. The preaching the gospel is telling men something of, something about Christ and his finished work for them, which they are to believe. Now, he's going to tell you you don't need the gospel to be saved. But Chafer says here, this is the simplest test to be applied to all soul-saving appeals. All soul-saving appeals are not to, no, a, 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 an appeal to a promise is not a soul-saving appeal. A soul-saving appeal is to the, to Christ, believe, trusting in Christ, because He did something for you. Christ and his finished work for them. That is the soul saving appeal, which even Jack Smack has in his own book. He has his own uh, five verses necessary to lead a person to Christ. And then he's going to come around and tell you none of those verses are necessary except John 3.16. Then he's going, well, why do you need to he has memorized scriptures. Why do you need to memorize scriptures? All I need to know is John 3.16. Acts 16.31. And you people with no discernment, no understanding of the truth, would believe that lie and say, you're denying the promise. No, I'm not denying the promise. You, well, we know the gospel is this, 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 but you don't have to believe the gospel. You can just, just circumvent that and just believe in that promise. That is not a soul-saving message in John 3.16 because it does not contain the work of Christ on the cross. So therefore, it cannot be a soul, it, can, it cannot save anybody. It cannot save anybody because it, it does not contain a soul saving. It does not contain the work that Christ did for you on the cross. If preaching the gospel is telling men something about Christ and his finished work uh, uh, for them on which they believe. He, Blake, uh, 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 Jack Smack 77 is going to tell you that is too much not knowledge necessary uh, and therefore, and therefore, you don't have to use it. Does, and the, the person getting saved doesn't need that knowledge, and yet he'll have in his own book saying, "This is this is what I would use for verses." Why he says you have to memorize verses? You got to, you know, he has well, his own road, his own little step by step thing to, uh, in order to uh, a, a soul winning appeal. In his own book. This is the simplest test applied to all, all, all soul-saving soul saving, uh, 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 appeals. John 3.16 is not a soul-saving appeal. Therefore, it can't save you. Acts 16.31 is not a soul-saving appeal. It is telling you a fact, but does not contain the finished work of Jesus Christ where he did for you on the cross. It tells you you have to believe in him to be saved, but it does not contain... What is necessary to be saved? The soul, the the uh, the issue of what Christ did for you on the cross. That's from Chafer, people. That's the guy that Jack Smack put a video up there saying praising Chafer. But according to according to uh, uh, J, uh, uh, Jack Smack, Chafer is a lost man. Chafer is a lost man according to Jack Smack. What a liar! Double tongue. And you people who follow and give them a thumbs up like a bunch of morons. Those aren't soul-saving appeals in those passages. They are uh, uh, promises that follow after salvation. After salvation. John 3.16 is the motivation of why God sent His only begotten Son that, all, that who believe, whoso believe in Him should not perish. And the believing is what the gospel is. Believing in what God gave us as the gospel. 
which can, is the uh, element of what he did for us on the cross and his resurrection, which proves the efficacy of the, of the cross. So I'm going to stop here and put this up. Thank you. Amen. Thank you.